east coast. A powerful winter storm stretching to Canada. This is NBC Nightly News, reported by Garrick Ugly. Good evening. It stretches for 2,100 miles from the Gulf of Mexico to New England. It's caused at least 15 deaths. Technically, it is not a hurricane, but in some areas you wouldn't know the difference. Torrential rains, heavy snow, high tides, and devastating winds. That is what is hitting the East Coast this evening. We begin our reports with Linda Vester. Most of the deaths came in Florida. Some 50 tornadoes touched down. This mobile home park in Orlando was devastated. 21 counties were declared federal disaster areas. Flooding forced evacuations and destroyed property. I thought of uh, about uh, 15 years of enjoyment that suddenly uh, went straight down. A lot of good memories. They're gone now. In Birmingham, Alabama, it's being called the worst storm on record. Two feet of snow and a man found frozen to death at a bus stop. Downed power lines cut electricity to more than 300,000 people. In Georgia, the governor declared a state of emergency. Hit a curb. Can't see it in the snow. Snow reached a foot in some parts. Visibility was close to zero, and the National Guard was called out. In Delaware, waves forced a coastal town to evacuate and threatened to erode beaches. In Tennessee, a foot and a half of snow. This hasn't happened in a decade, and police say they've given up trying to count the number of stranded motorists. I have a 22-car uh, pileup out here on the bridge. West Virginia got pounded with two feet of snow. I say in there's rain, there's snow, there's sleet, all that stuff, but, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty bad out there today. And the nation's capital, which unravels at the slightest winter disturbance, came to a virtual standstill. All major airports closed or canceled flights, leaving tourists stranded. The worst of the storm is on its way north now, but strong winds, rain, and blinding snow are expected to continue in the southeast tonight. People may have to wait until tomorrow to make a better assessment of just what damage has been done. Linda Vester, NBC News, Washington. And now to Fred Briggs in the nearly deserted streets of Midtown Manhattan, where the center of the storm is expected to hit later tonight. Fred? Garrick, the northeastern part of this storm began before dawn, while the center of the storm was still well over the southeast. It has closed roads, airports, and virtually emptied city streets. The coastal towns like Seabright, New Jersey, are losing some of that coast to high winds and high tides for the second time in three months. Many towns hadn't recovered from December's nor'easter. For New York, what may be the biggest blizzard of the 20th century brought to mind the biggest of the 19th century, 105 years ago today. The blizzard of 1888 caused 600 deaths, sank ships in the harbor, and derailed elevated trains. Cities handled storms better now. For a while this morning, planes were still taking off at Kennedy Airport. We have roughly 200 personnel, 65 pieces of equipment, trying to keep up with the snow. It wasn't enough. All New York airports were closed by noon. As the storm's leading edge moved into New England, 35 mile an hour winds drifted snow over Interstate 95 in Connecticut and Rhode Island. There were accidents. I think it's time that people realize that it's time to be home and not out on the road. Uh, it's very serious. From Long Island to Rhode Island, the tides are much higher than in the southeast. That means a higher potential for damage and beach erosion. And in Boston, where the worst of the storm isn't expected until after midnight, it was time to stock up. Past storms have been days without power or heat. Supermarkets without power. Bought some batteries just to be sure. Bought some water just to be sure again. The brunt of the storm will hit Maine tomorrow. Police and firemen in coastal cities advise people to move inland. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm packing all my things. Okay, There's you are? a big truck coming. Yeah. So, uh, I'll be out here soon. Okay, thank you. Thanks. As for New York, the snow has changed to rain, and there's very little bit of that. But the center of the storm is still moving this way, Garrick. Let's turn now to the political storm in Russia. In Moscow, the president, the parliament, and power. The struggle reached...